Okay, thanks for coming to paythepoolman.com. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of our new features that we are uh, releasing in beta. And that's going to be our QuickBooks Online integrations. And this is going to extend your capability if uh, you find yourself having to still use QuickBooks as far as uh, you need really in-depth accounting or uh, some of the other features that uh, they want or simply your accountant needs to, to access that data. This is going to show you how to send over what happens in Pay the Pull Man to uh, QuickBooks Online. So we can see right away in purple here that we have our warning that this is a beta and that Pay the Pull Man can only support what happens in actual Pay the Pull Man. Um, so you're going to want to make sure to go ahead and read that. But where you're going to get started, especially if you're just starting off with Pay the Pull Man, is you want to start with this blue box right here. Um, this is going to be where you're going to pull all of your information over from QuickBooks Online. Um, so you can uh, go ahead and import your customers. You can import your income items. And uh, most importantly, if you're going to go ahead and use our feature to send your expenses from Pay the Pool Man to QuickBooks Online, you're going to need to import your bank uh, information from uh, QuickBooks so that when we send that information to QuickBooks, they know where to quote unquote pull that money from. So this is going to be where you send all your data over from Pay the Pool Man to QuickBooks. So typically, we would always recommend probably once a month after you do your billing cycle, you know, or maybe right before you do your billing, you send it on over. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, this is just going to keep uh, both uh, both programs up to date. So right here in red, you can see that you're going to need to go ahead and sync these items from top to bottom. That means that uh, you don't want to be trying to sync your payments before you send over your invoices and vice versa. So I um, mean, if if you have any items uh, that are showing up from the top down to the bottom, you're going to start syncing those from top to bottom. So um, let's go ahead and take a look-see and uh, go ahead and try to get this going. Okay, so now we're in our QuickBooks Online account. And before we get going, remember we said that we have to import our bank accounts. Um, you need to make sure that if you're going to go ahead and track your expenses from Pay the Pool Man into QuickBooks, that you show under your chart of accounts some business uh, banking. So <clears throat> to add uh, some, uh, all you're going to need to do, uh, you should always have a cash on hand account. Uh, we already have that. Um, but let's say we wanted to add another checking. And let's go ahead and we'll just say <clears throat> this is our business checking. And then I always recommend just to put the name of uh, the company that it's with. You can just say B of A. All right. Ooh, there we go. All right. So now uh, when we import our bank uh, information, that's going to go ahead and bring that bank over to pay the pool man, which is going to be important when you're assigning uh, expenses to certain accounts. So, okay. So now let's go ahead and go back to pay the pool man. And we can see here for Clint Barton, uh, if we go down to his invoices and payments, we do not have any currently at the moment. And so let's go back to our QuickBooks. And if we go pull up our customers, uh, let's see, Clint Barton here, we have no transactions showing, which is great, right? So let's go ahead and see what uh, the, these look like here. So let's create a quick one. All right. And let's go ahead and just say pull service. And let's save it. Okay. All right. So now if we go to our invoices and payments, we can see that we have this guy sitting here. And let's go ahead and add a payment for that invoice as well. We'll just say cash and let's go ahead and throw in today's date and let's save that. Okay, great. So now <clears throat> if we go ahead and we'll go to our settings and we'll go to QuickBooks Online. And you're going to go ahead and log in. And uh, since this is our test account, we have a couple different accounts here. 
And here we go. Now we're linked up and we are ready to go. And we can see that uh, our numbers have changed here. So we have a invoice to sync and then we have a payment to sync. So uh, realistically, all you're gonna need to do, as long as these are zero, you can go down to the item below and we're gonna go ahead and sync those. Okay, so now that we have that synced, we can go ahead and sync our payment as well. Okay, so now that that payment is synced, if we go back to QuickBooks, let's go ahead and refresh our page here for Clint. Here we go, we have our invoice, we can see that the status is paid, and then we have our payment. So uh, all that information has been sent over from Pay the Pool Man to QuickBooks. All right, so the next thing we're gonna show you is uh, with your expenses. Screen here, let's see, let's go ahead and, and add an expense. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add an expense. All right, uh, let's go ahead and choose a vendor. Let's say Ace Hardware. And let's say cost of goods sold. And right here you can see that we have a new uh, field because we imported our bank information. Okay, and uh, we'll just say this is a test. And we're gonna go ahead and say it was for $11. All right, and we'll put for today. And let's go ahead and save that. Okay, so now if we go back over to our uh, QuickBooks sync, let's go ahead and refresh our page. And we can see right away, we have a, a new expense to sync here. So let's go ahead and click on that. So now that is synced, and let's go ahead and uh, look that up here. So we're gonna go to our expenses. And we're on our QuickBooks side, and we can see right here, Ace Hardware, uh, $11. So right away, uh, you can see that Pay the Pool Man just makes it really simple to live in Pay the Pool Man, take advantage of all the different features that are going to save you time, get your billing out quicker, get your payments going, and then also manage your employees. But then <clears throat> if for some reason you have to have QuickBooks online for accounting purposes or whatnot, you can easily just send that information over. There are a couple of things that you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and avoid. You do not want to delete data from QuickBooks and then expect it to sync to pay the pool man because it does not sync that direction. This, this integration is made specifically so that you can stay in pay the pool man and send what you do over to QuickBooks. Um, you do, not want to be deleting out income items out of your QuickBooks and then trying to sync invoices from Pay the Pool Man to your QuickBooks because if the item doesn't exist, it will error out. Um, and that is from QuickBooks. So uh, you're gonna always wanna make sure that any importing items that you bring from QuickBooks, you're gonna do once. So whether that's your customers, your bank information, or your uh, income items, you're gonna wanna do that one time. And that's to avoid any duplicates. Um, but other than that, uh, you just want to be careful for your data integrity to not be deleting uh, things out. Um, it's very important. So if you do delete something out of Pay the Pool Man, you're going to need to go into your QuickBooks account and delete it out as well if you want it to match up. Okay, thank you very much and have a great day.